It wasn't always like this. Yeah, I'd watch that. Okay, so despite there being tomatoes in my sandwich, tomatoes in my introduction, and even my last name, Tamayo, sounds like tomato, tomato, tomayo. I wasn't always a huge fan of them. You see, when I used to live in California, my preschool teacher, Mrs. Um, eh, mm, mm, let's just call her Mrs. Callie. She was super cool. She would let us play games, have nap time, and she would even bring snacks from her own home. She would bring graham crackers. Not like the skinny ones you'd make with s'mores, but like the thick ones, served with strawberries or something. It seemed like my preschool career was off to a great start until my teacher decided to bring cherry tomatoes. Don't give me that look. I was only like three or four. How about you go back in time and convince yourself not to be a picky eater? Oh, that's right, you can't. Not only because you don't have a time machine, but because everyone at that age is still trying new combinations to treat their taste buds to something good. So, on that day, Miss Callie walks in front of the class and says, Who would like a cherry tomato that I picked from my garden? And you know, damn well, my little fat ass wants food. Because why not? To a little kid, anything with the word cherry in it, they're gonna want it. Look, I was at that age where I knew which food and vegetables to stay away from. So when Miss Callie said cherry, you know your boy was about it. So she continues to hype up the class and asks, so who wants a snack? Well, duh, I do. So me and the rest of the class, we raise our hands. And before she hands them out, she says, if you get one, you're going to have to eat it. Of course I'm gonna eat it. I'd be a fool not to, I think to myself as she snakes her way to each student. And she makes it to my desk. And I stared hard at that basket full of cherries. And that basket stared right back at me. And you know what I did? I picked the biggest one. And when I tell you I inhaled that cherry tomato, I literally inhaled that cherry tomato with immediate disgust and 100% regret. As the imposter cherry rested in my mouth and her words echoed in my mind, If you get one, you're gonna have to eat it. My eyes began to water because I was too scared to spit it out. So I swallowed the cherry whole. <coughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at my shame. Well, that was a long time ago, and now I actually really like tomatoes on stuff. If you like tomatoes and you like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. First of the day isn't about tomatoes, but love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. If everyone does these two things, we would literally have world peace, so I'm just gonna leave that here. Please be sure to follow me on my socials where I update a lot of my artwork there first before I uploading onto YouTube. And if you really like my work that I do, please help me by supporting me here on Patreon or even a smaller donation through buying me a cup of coffee. Thank you guys so much for everything. And remember, life is like a sandwich. If you eat it all at once, you're probably going to choke and die. So it's better to just eat it one bite at a time. Mm. Okay. That's it.